Judge Judy has taken Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg to task for choosing to focus on prosecuting Donald Trump instead of tackling the more urgent issues of street crime and public safety. I would be happier as someone who owns property in Manhattan if the district attorney of New York County would take care of criminals who are making it impossible for citizens to walk in the streets and use the subway to use his efforts to keep those people off the street than to spend $5 million or $10 million of taxpayers' money trying Donald Trump on this nonsense. That's my view. But I, as a taxpayer in this country, resent using the system for your own personal self and grandiose. Now, you didn't know. And that's what you think the DA did in Manhattan? That's what I think. I mean, if you look, it, 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 you had to twist yourself into a pretzel to figure out what the crime was. He doesn't like him. New York City didn't like him for a while. Trump. Trump. What do you think of Donald Trump? What do I think of him? Uh, I think he was a good businessman, a real estate guy. Mm -hmm. And he was certainly terrific on The Apprentice. With a strong belief in the paramount importance of law and order, she advocates for strict measures to ensure public safety and curb crime. Judge Judy's sharp criticism aligns with her viewpoint that resources should be directed towards fighting street crime rather than prosecuting politicians. The judicial system, she argues, must prioritize immediate and tangible threats to public safety over cases that are politically charged. From a fiscal perspective, Judge Judy underscores the principle of conservative spending. She highlights that the exorbitant costs associated with Donald Trump's trial reflect irresponsible public spending, especially when those funds could be better used to address more pressing community concerns. Her stance resonates with the conservative view of government efficiency and accountability, emphasizing the need to allocate budgets to areas that have a direct and substantial impact on public safety.